I've got a small flock of pedigree Gary Hill sheep. God, there's a couple of them that get quite sentimental about. But uh, they're not pets. They've got a lamb, you know, they've got to have a lamb. They're born in February, March. I very rarely get to bed before two o'clock in the morning, and I'm normally up by six. So it's a, not a lot of sleep for about a month. <laughs> The ram lambs, they go for slaughter October, November time. I sell half a lamb for 45 to 50 pounds a pound, I sell it for 45 pounds. And this year, I was selling whole lambs for 90 pounds. Come on, girl, push. There you go. There you go. I think if I looked at it really closely, I suppose I'm working for about a pound an hour when I'm doing it. day after they've lamb, I will put the rings on their testicles. If you don't castrate them, by the time that's six months old, the hormones are really high. Come the autumn when the ewes come back into season, the sons are trying to get into them. Whereas if you've castrated them, the management of them is a lot easier. You can put them in the next field to each other and they're not trying to jump the fence. You get a lot of predators coming around, taking them, especially at lambing time. They'll, they'll be out for an easy meal. A small lamb on the field, a weekly lamb, Everything that's caught in the cage is disposed of and shot. You'll find it's a vixen that's got cubs, or it'll be uh, an older fox. There might be something wrong with him. You know, he's lame, he's got a bad leg or something like that. He's in a knock off a car. But uh, he doesn't get no sympathy off me if he comes here. It's nature, isn't it? It's a battle. There's always a battle. There's always something. I'm a country boy at heart, you know. And uh, I've worked on farms all my life. But, uh, it does get quite stressful at times when you're doing the lambing, especially if things are going wrong. So you sometimes do wonder why you do it, but it's it's a way of life. <laughs> 